My passion about psychiatry arose as a child and young man from my inquisitiveness about the way the body works. And as I got to the brain, understanding the way the mind works, which I think is probably the most complex uh, uh, organism, I just naturally became fascinated with that. And I've always been fascinated uh, in psychiatry by the fact you can cover so many different aspects. You've got the molecular, biological, through to social problems, through to stigma, through to political issues, and uh, even spiritual ones. I don't think any other area of medicine has such wide-ranging implications uh, in society. My own particular background is that I trained in the UK. I trained at the Maudsley Hospital and at the Institute of Psychiatry. I did my basic psychiatric training at the Maudsley Hospital and then when I passed my exams, college exams, I was able to be awarded with a research fellowship from the Medical Research Council which enabled me unusually to train in neuropathology as well as psychiatry. I was specifically interested in understanding the brain as well as the mind. So my research interests are very much in molecular and cellular neuroscience of psychiatric disorders. For 25 years I've worked in the area of what HIV does to the brain because I came into research at a time when the AIDS epidemic was exploding and people didn't understand but we did recognize at that time that the brain was a major target of infection by the virus and resulted in a number of people getting dementia and dying. In addition to that research, I've done a lot of research on the molecular and cellular pathology in psychiatric disorders such as schizophrenia, depression and bipolar disorder. The most rewarding thing for me is to see people get better and go home and to actually have a good quality of life. As I said earlier, I've spent uh, many years looking after people with HIV and for me the great thing was actually being able to um, care for people living with HIV and improve their quality of life and in some cases as treatments came along almost seeing what we called a Lazarus effect. The people we thought were going to die actually got better, went home and actually even got back into jobs and got on with their life. To me that was a great thing to witness. Uh, I'm very proud and humbled by that. Our job is to try and disentangle the medical from the mental. Sometimes that can be easy, sometimes it can be very complicated, but that's one of the joys and challenges of the job.